All right. <laughs> uh, I may do that every time I come down here. I don't know. It's it's funny. It's funny. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Yep. What's this? Wow. <laughs> A Corian ship. I didn't realize it was there. Okay. <clears throat> What's this? Weapon upgrades. Weapon upgrades. Do I have anything I could up? Oh. Oh, wow. Jesus. Huh. Hey, that's something. Alright, that's something. That's definitely for another time, though. I'm gonna... I'll definitely cut some of the video out when I go and do that. I think... Well, let's uh, let me just go ahead and take my tour around the uh, ship again. Essentially do a crew conversation to see if anything... Anything new comes up. With me constantly getting lost and trying to figure out what to do, it's very possible this is gonna, this may be longer than Mass Effect 2. I think Mass Effect 2, I think I got to 167 parts with just, uh, you know, knowing where to go. So, I do apologize if there's some running around, if there's like some dead space or dead air or me running around doing nothing. Kind of like in Skyrim. So, I'll just make that announcement now in case you manage to watch this video, which if you do, great. The two or three of you who watch my videos, that is. So, let me see here. Let us see if Dr. Chalk was says anything different. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. That's what makes him a hard ass. Alright, what do we got in here? Nothing now in the AI core. Because Edie now has her body. All shiny and metallic. Let's see if Garrus is doing calibrations. That's what he always seems to be doing. All right, got to wait for this thing again. Come on. Thank you. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, There'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Hmm. So I see they just, instead of having to go through that whole thing with going through the options, asking if they want to talk, they now just make a statement, which, which is very convenient, very streamlined. I hate the fact, though, that these doors take forever to fucking open. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Okay. There's no upgrades, though. There's nothing there. Oh. This. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm, cool. So I guess it's just a... Kind of like how... For those of you who've never done the Shadow Broker DLC or didn't watch that, you actually get to get some bonus stuff when you're in the Shadow Broker. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. All right. So I was saying, yeah, you get to get some bonus information, some bonus intel when you read the, especially when you read the dossiers uh, that the Shadow Broker has. All right. So now let's go ahead and head to engineering. All right. So let's go in here. Cause I think I reassigned. Ah, there they are. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Okay, I don't have anything else to say. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. 
She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Alright, so it seems like definitely some of the conversations are new, some of them not so much. I told you Shepard would come visit. Damn straight I would. Because you two are hilarious. Anyway. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? I know what to do. Let's go over here. We need to talk to, uh... Now, a city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. That was... That is such beaming personality. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Oh, I guess that explains your face then. All right, hey, whoa! Shepard got jokes. Anyway, uh... Whatever. Let's let's. <laughs> Why do I? That was actually a very bad joke. That was a very bad joke. Why? Because I'm laughing. Anyway, let's head back. All right, let's go ahead and jump back into the map. Let's see here. All right, so now we've we are done with the academy. Let me head. Uh, all right. Well, let's head to the mass relay then. All right, where to go? Recover the Prothean artifact. Find artifacts. In Gamma. I definitely know there's a lot of shit still to do on the Citadel. Um. Okay, what I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to cut the video here. And I'm going to see if... I'm actually going to check out all these little places just to see if there's any possibility that they'll give a little more information on where I have to go. However, if... If something should happen, like a cutscene I accidentally trigger or something like that happens, I will get back to all of you. So yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so after doing some uh, searching, I, I there's nothing. I don't think there's anything there. Also, I know that there's more to this galaxy than just these like four or five little spots. So I think, even though they asked me to do that and they told them to hurry, the reality is I guess it really isn't. I'm hurrying more than I should, I guess is probably what I'm trying to say here. In any case, I... And I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but like these like glowing things that come out of the that come out of the circles means there's something to do in each of these. So I'm actually going to head back to the citadel. Because there's a lot of stuff to do over here still. I'm still wondering where to find the parts and all that other stuff. I don't really know if I'm supposed to uh, I don't really know where to look if I'm just supposed to be uh you know, if it's all gonna be in black and white, or I just happen to randomly find it along the way, you know. And I don't want to look it up, because, I mean, that's going to ruin the surprise. But at the same time, I don't want to be dicking around. Alright, very good. So, I'm going to cut out a lot of that loading screen. What the? Miranda? Is that you? Yeah, it's you. I can tell from that ass. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... Something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? 
I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. <laughs>